Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where we'll be showing you how to use Capwing Video Editor for beginners. We will be making everything a breeze so it's easy to understand. Now when you've created your account on Capwing, you will be brought to this page. This is a Capwing layout. It can be divided into two with the left side and the right side as the main window. Right off the bat, I'm a fan of making things dark as they're easy on the eyes. In order to change things to a dark mode, you just need to go over to your workspace and there's a drop down. You're going to click on it. And right here, you can see that you can change it to dark mode. And now that everything is dark and cozy, we can continue. On the left side, you have some options. You have the first option, which is to search if you'd like to search for some of your projects. And you also have brand kits. If you have your brand and you'd like to work with a brand kit, there is your option. Now on your Capwing workspace, you have two places where you can go to your settings. You can access settings from the left side panel or at the extreme right at the top right corner. And we'll be getting into that in a moment. Back to the left side. You also have team folders where all your folders are organized to keep things easy on the eyes. And if you have projects just for you, you can have them under private folders. So either you're having folders for your team where they will be shared and seen by others according to how you want it, or you could have your private folders where only you can access them. If you're working with a team and you have some files that are shared with you, you can access them under shared with me. And if you need help and resources, you can click over here to get more info or troubleshoot any issues you may be having. And hopefully at the end of this tutorial, you wouldn't be needing any of that. And at the last option here, this is where you have your profile name and your email address. When you click on it, it's going to take you to a page where you can make some settings. You could change it to light mode again if you want, but we're going to take it back because this is cozy. And you could also sign out here if you want. And then here you have notifications. You can choose if you want your notifications to be in app or receive them via email. And you also have connected accounts such as YouTube and TikTok. This is a great feature as you might want some of your edits to be sent on YouTube or on TikTok. And then lastly, if you'd like to delete your account, here is the option. Now on the right side, this takes up much of the real estate of your workspace. But at the top right corner, you have the option to upgrade if you'd like to. And when you click on the upgrade button, you're going to see the different tiers and the features that come along with them. We're currently using the free version, but if you want to go to pro, business or enterprise, you have the features in order to make a wise decision. You could also choose if you want to add more members, if it's a monthly plan or an annual plan. And here you can find the second workspace settings. The first was here and the second is right here. You could also add members if you want to invite members to your workspace and you can also see and manage workspace members when we click on it. You have some preference settings for your profile and you also have the invite link if you'd like to invite anyone to your Capwing workspace. And once again, you could easily invite members by clicking on invite members with you as admin and other members who will join you in your workspace. And now to the main services of Capwing. You have two main options with lots of other sub options depending on what you choose. If you want to create content from scratch, such as taking a raw footage and transforming it into polished video, or you'd like to create content with the generative AI, then create new is your best option. If you want to transform long form videos, such as podcasts, webinars, into social media ready clips, then repurpose content is a click away. Now let's start with repurpose content. We can either click it here or click on the tile. And under repurpose content, you have the option to upload files by either dragging and dropping, or you could simply click on upload. And the second option to add video files is to simply paste a URL. There are also other samples which you can have a look at. These options will help you to see how Capwing works on long form videos. For example, you have a 33 minute interview with 13 clips. You also have a screen share of 46 minutes with nine clips. And you also have 10 clips which are generated from 35 minutes of a podcast. And after you've repurposed your content, you have the option to share this project or invite others to collaborate with you. Now back on the main workspace, we have the other option to create new. Now the create new has lots of options, so we're going to click on it immediately. Now create new works as any other video editor with the addition of AI. 
Now on the left sidebar, you can access different assets. For example, you can add media, generate a transcript, add your subtitles, your text, personas, audio, videos, images, and elements. On the layers, you can have some manipulation with your video and all these options are aimed to helping you as a video editor to make the best of your raw footage. In order to add a footage, just as you have on the repurpose content, you can come over here, drag and drop the file, click on this to upload, or you can paste the video from a URL. Alternatively, you can import from Google, upload from phone, or try a sample. If, however, you want to start with a blank canvas, you can choose the dimensions, which is very important. For example, if you're using TikTok or YouTube Shorts, you want to use 916. But if you would like to make a standard YouTube video, you want to go with 169. Now, you can also scroll down because there are other options such as transitions, templates, plugins, and record. There are other options under more such as shapes, emojis, and sound effects. As you can see, you can find all you need in order to create stunning video outputs from your raw footage or from AI generated content. Now, under media, you can see this project basically where you can add media easily, or you can go under media where you can search for already uploaded media. You also have Google Photos, where you can connect your Google Photos to easily access what may be on your other devices. Now, we would like to try Capwing AI that adds a flair to video editing on Capwing. Here, you could put in any topic to create a content with Capwing. Right away, we will be typing in a prompt for Capwing to generate. Now, when you click on the prompt area like this, you will have some suggestions for you, which is great for beginners. You have article to video, document to video, script to video, and you can also create a video script about something which you can continue typing about. You could also do the same for an image or an imaginary scene. So you have a good pool of suggestions and features which you can have in your Capwing AI. We're going to be using create a social media video about, and then when we click on it, we're going to put in a prompt right here. You could also decide the tone of your video. Over here, you can click on the drop down. Now, by default, you have it under casual. You have casual, formal, funny, informative, or creative. So, these are the different tones which you could have for your script. You also have the option to use an article URL, use my own script, or you can simply stick with creating a prompt. Now, this is just under video project, which is a montage of B roll with a voiceover and subtitles. You could go over to scene where it's an AI generated footage of a three second scene. Now, this option is totally awesome for those pretty short social media clips. Now, on the first input area, you can generate a three second scene about anything. And then you have some suggestions here, which is great for beginners. It helps you to see the method so you can structure your prompt to get the best results. Now, the best way to structure your prompt is by having a style first, a character or object, the verb, and the surroundings. And they also have suggestions underneath. So you can say a cinematic ginger cat watching a beautiful sunset, which is great. Then of course, you also have the dimensions because it's a three second social media clip, 916 is great. And as a third option, you have AI generated static photos or illustrations. So say you want to get static photos or illustrations, this is the best place to be. With the same structure, you just simply write in the text box your prompt for an image. And right here, we're going to try an example. Now, if you're not so sure about what to write still, you can go ahead and click on try a sample. This will generate a text prompt according to how Capwing would best generate your image. And because we clicked on try a sample, you can see the text, a synthwave Halloween Formula One car racing on a night road in Singapore. Interesting. So we can go ahead and click on generate images. Now that was pretty quick. And we can see four versions of this text prompt output, which we can use. All you need to do is to click on the image you would like to add to your Capwing project. So say we want to choose this. We're going to click on this that has palm trees by the side of the road. We're going to click on it and you can see adding image to project. And right now we have our image added to our Capwing project. Now there are other settings we could apply to our image, such as replace, crop, filter, erase, and others. 
all these tools are aimed to help you create the best of your content according to your imagination. You could use your scroll key on your mouse to scroll out or in, and you also have the option to enhance this image. You also have the outline, the positioning, you could rotate, adjust, blur, and work on the layers. Now, when you're done with this, you could click on export project or download the photo. When you click on download, you have recent exports, and you also have export project. You have the format where you have MP4, MP3, JPEG, and GIF. You also have the resolution to play with from 480p up to 4K. Now, if this current settings are what you want, all you need to do is to simply click on export as JPEG, which is what's selected right here. And then the export process has started. And now that the export process is done, you can click on download. After downloading in your local device, you can see the picture. Of course, it comes with a Capwing logo. If you want to get rid of the Capwing logo, you would have to subscribe to a payment plan, as such features come with paid plans. At this point, you are no longer a stranger to Capwing, so go ahead and take it for a spin, and thanks for watching.